Hey guys and welcome to another episode. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to flash your ECU to make more horsepower. So behind me I've got my Honda Accord, a laptop, and a software tuner right here called K-Tuner. And this is what I'm going to be using to flash my ECU and put new software on it. So the way this stuff works is actually quite simple. So you've got your OBD2 connector in here and this is actually run off of Bluetooth or if you hook it up from the backside, you can run off of USB. It doesn't really matter whichever one you use, they both do the exact same function. So you'd hook this up to your computer, and once you have K-Tuner, their software downloaded onto your computer, you can open up, K-Tuner right there, you open it up, and this is where you're going to get all the engine tuning functions and modifications from. So you're going to let this open up, and as you can see right here, we've got a screen that popped up. So as it stands, there's no tune or no information inside the software. So we're going to have to open up a new file. So we go to the top, file, new tune, and my engine is a K24Z3, so you're going to open up the little plus thing right there, and we're going to be tuning the factory ECU. So you're going to click on that, go down, and click next, and from there, we're going to have a couple preloaded base tunes on here. So we've got our factory tune right here at the top. We have a tune right here if you're going to be running 91 octane and you have a couple mods right here. Tune for stock or stock plus intake. There's that one or there's tune 2 which is 91 octane, tune for mods up to intake, the RV6 pre catalyte and exhaust. Now I have this along with a whole bunch of other modifications to my car. So this is the base tune that I'm going to go with. So you click tune and down here you're going to click next. But you don't quite do that yet. You're first going to have to hook up the OBD2 software right here, like the little connector, up to the car. So I just brought my laptop into the car and I plugged the USB up to it and hooked it up to the OBD2 port. So from there, we're going to continue and we're going to go and click next once we've selected tune 2. So we go here, click next. Now it's just opening up the file right here. So, so here you go, here it just opened up. So this is the tune, this is our base tune that we're going to be installing on the Accord. So once you have your file opened up, you're going to come to the top of the screen. And if that's it, if that's all you're going to be changing software wise in your computer, you, all you're going to be doing is you're going to be clicking up this. You're going to click upload base code and it's going to upload all this information up to your ECU and reflash it. But there's more things that we can uh, change and modify. So if you see right here, we can change when VTEC kicks in, the lower engage, the upper engage, and everything. We can change our injectors. If you have any check engine light or anything, you can change that. You can remove them. And there's more settings everywhere you go. So the more complicated you get, the more that you go into the tune, and the more you fine tune it, the more power your engine is gonna make. You can play with your ignition, and there's even advanced features. And like, check this out, this is a two-step. So if you wanna launch your vehicle, you can set it so that when your car is in neutral, it'll stop revving at a certain RPM, and then as soon as you dump your clutch, the car is gonna take off. Now, you can set that to any RPM that you want. You wanna set it so it's ideal, so that you don't spin your tires too much, but you don't bog down the engine. Now, I'll get into that stuff in a future video, but as it stands, I'm just gonna leave that the way it is. And there's a whole bunch of other things you can do too. Sensor adjustment, anti-theft, onboard logging. Like there's a whole bunch of things you can change. But for now, I'm gonna be leaving this, the tune the way it is, and I'm just gonna be uploading this to my ECU. So, get your mouse, bring it up here, upload base code. And then once I click that, down here, see how it says logging? Well that means that the OBD2 connector is connected to the car. So once I click that button at the top, click, this is what's gonna happen. It's gonna give me a notification saying, are you sure you wanna erase it, blah, blah, blah. You wanna say yes. And down here, it's gonna start doing its thing. So right now it's erasing the ECU, all the information you have on your car. Now don't disconnect it, whatever you do, let it do its thing. So it's erased, it got rid of all the information on there. And now it's just adding the new software onto the computer. So as it stands right now, the car should be on. So key on, engine off. Now when it's done flashing, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go from key on, engine off, and you're going to have to turn it off completely and then turn it back on. It's going to reboot everything and the car is going to be done. 
All right, so it just finished, and as it says now, you can see it says connected, and a little pop-up screen came up. So please key the key off and turn it back on before hitting OK. So I'm just gonna come in here, off, and on. So it's just gonna reboot the computer, and then you're gonna click OK on the screen right here, and you're done. It's as simple as that. Now that is how far it goes for a base tune. Now obviously you can go more into it, but you're gonna need to data log. And what data logging is, is you're gonna have your computer hooked up to your car, and when you drive, it's gonna be recording everything. Your air fuel ratios, your ignition, your spark, your O2 sensors, everything is gonna come up, and you're gonna to wanna to try and tune your air fuel ratio to be as perfect as possible. If anything, when you're starting off, you wanna make it more rich than lean, because when you go too lean, that's when problems arise. So, I'll get into that in a future video, but this is just how you base tune your car. So if we jump into the car, we can turn the car on, and the car's gonna be good to go. So that's as far as it goes for the basics on how to tune your car. Now from there, you can obviously make more adjustments to your vehicle when you get more into it. Now say you want to restart this and reflash your ECU back to stock. How do you do that? Well, this is how you do it. You go to file, new tune, and if you remember before we had to click on our engine. So this is our K24, click on a little plus, we've selected our factory ECU. Click next, and then you're gonna have those three tunes. So if you see the first one, you're gonna see factory base calibration. So you're gonna click that, next, and then you're gonna upload it to the car. Now once you do that, the car is gonna go back to stock, it's gonna drive exactly how it was before, and then at that point, say that you wanna sell your tuner, you can do that, but you can't sell it and make the software usable um, without doing this, because if you have, say, one tune, still on your car, K-Tuner knows, and you actually have to communicate with their server down here, and it lets you know if it's registered or not, um, and you have to go from there. So if you wanna sell it, you have to go back to stock. But as it stands, that's how you do all this stuff. So this K-Tuner software that I have for my vehicle is only available for PC. Now I do have a Mac and I downloaded, or actually I installed Boot Camp, which allowed me to run Windows 7 on my Mac. Now, another question that I'm probably gonna get asked is, hey, what kind of software do I need for my vehicle? Well, a simple Google search will do you wonders. Like just for my car, K-Tuner is a company that works for my vehicle along with a whole bunch of other Hondas. Now, say you have a German car, ECS Tuning is another company that has stuff like that for you. Now, it's just a matter of doing a simple Google search, finding a tuning software where you're allowed to do all this stuff, and once you install it on your car, you're gonna notice definite differences when you floor it. If we go back onto K-Tuner's website, you can see that all the different engines and platforms that they have for tuning software. So I mean, if you have one of these things, one of these cars, you guys can get this software and install it on your car. Like there's K-Tuner, there's K-Pro, there's K-Tune, there's a whole bunch of other different uh, softwares like this that'll work for your vehicle. Now I got my kit from throwdownperformance.com Mark Triano, he showed me and he actually gave me a lot of insight as to what I need to software tune my car. Now if you guys want, you can go on his website, check it out, buy whatever you want, and you guys will be supporting the guy that helped me make this video. If you guys have any questions regarding the video, throw them down in the comment section below and I'd be happy to help. Again guys, thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next one, peace.
So keep in mind that if you guys do this tune to your vehicle, you put the appropriate gas in your car. My car originally, with the OEM tune, is rated for 87 octane fuel. But with this new tune, it's rated for 91. So make sure that you put the right gas in to take advantage of these benefits.